Welcome. In this video, we'll be finding a diagonal of a kite, part two. Let's take a look at our example. Example, kite ABCD has an area of six square meters. If AC is equal to 200 centimeters, what is BD in millimeters? Okay, let's take a look at what we're given. We're given that the area of the kite is six square meters, and also that segment AC has a length of 200 centimeters. Looking at the diagram, we realize that AC is simply one of the diagonals of the kite, and that has a length of 200 centimeters. Since the area is given to us in square meters, I recommend that we change from centimeters to meters for now. To do so, let's go ahead and set up a proportion relating centimeters to meters. Centimeters are related to meters as follows. 100 centimeters correspond to one meter, and here we're given 200 of those centimeters and we're finding the corresponding value in meters. So let's go ahead and call that corresponding value y for now. Since we have a proportion, we can cross multiply to solve for y. We have 100 times y is 100y, and that should be equal to 1 times 200, which is simply 200. Let's go ahead and solve for y by dividing by 100 on both sides of the equation, and we get that 100 divided by 100 is 1, 1 times y is y, and that is equal to 200 divided by 100, which is 2. So we can say, therefore, 200 centimeters is equal to 2 meters. Hence, we can say that this diagonal has a length of 200 centimeters or 2 meters. Notice now that we have the same units, we can say that since the area is given and one of the diagonals is also given, we can relate them through the area formula. And since we're dealing with the kite, we have area is equal to 1 half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. Substituting in what we know, we can get the following equation. Instead of the area, we're going to replace that with the 6 square meters, and that should be equal to 1 half times the length of one of the diagonals, which in this case we found it to be 2 meters, and times the other diagonal, which I'm going to call it x for now. Let's go ahead and simplify this equation. And notice that by simplifying, we're going to get 6 square meters is equal to half of 2 meters, which is just 1 meter, times x. Our goal is to get the x by itself. So let's go ahead and divide by 1m on both sides of the equation. Now, 6 divided by 1 is simply 6. Uh, meter squared divided by, by meter is just meters. And 1 meter divided by 1 meter is 1. And 1 times x is simply x. So we can say that... The other diagonal, diagonal 2, is equal to 6 meters in length. But that's not what we want, since we want that particular length in millimeters. So now we're going to set up a new proportion. We can say, well, millimeters are related to meters as follows. A thousand millimeters is equivalent to 1 meter. And since we have 6 meters here, we're going to place the 6 in the bottom along the row where the meter label is located. And we're going to use another unknown here, namely z, since we already use x's and y's. Let's solve for z now by cross multiplying. So we have 1 times z is simply z, and 1,000 times 6 is 6,000. So what does that mean? Well, that means that the length of 6 meters is the same as 6,000 millimeters. So we can conclude by saying that the actual length of diagonal BD is 6,000 millimeters. So let's write that down. We can say, therefore, BD is equal to 6,000 millimeters. And that's how we can find a diagonal of a kite. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.